Today we're going to be taking a look at a map that really is going to bring some good memories back to some of you out there that remember when I used to do the abstract maps. Because this itself is an abstract map, and the creator even said that it is based off of Nipper's original abstract maps. I just remember the J2 Halloween map pack, like all those good, awesome maps that were made for Counter-Strike, but then someone ported them over to Gary's Mod, and even before I made this channel, I loved playing on those maps. With the rise of popularity in liminal spaces, there's also going to be a few of those thrown in, but I can't help but feel like maps like this kind of started the whole thing in the first place. Also, there's going to be a lot of copyrighted music that hopefully we don't hear because I'm either going to be muting it or there's going to be music over it. But what do you guys say we take a closer look at the fun house? And already we're met with a dilemma, which pathway do we take? Going this way down this seemingly normal street, you'll look up and notice there is a miniature building hovering above us that leads into space. Now this is really reminiscent of one of Nipper's maps. Um, I remember specifically a lot of floating things in space. Maybe that's just a common trend, but so far we can see a lot of cool things are going on here. We have the moon over here just floating and we even have like a moon rover just stuck on this tiny media right there. And then again, this leads into three more corridors. So we're gonna go ahead and go into this one because we're already here. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Just so you guys know also, I should probably preface this. I've not played on this map. This is my first time seeing it. This is super cool. I dig all the colors, but uh, I, I'm i wondering what's the point of this? Now I know the whole idea behind surrealism is a lot of weird things that somehow make sense in some way. Now, they're not going to be logically sound, of course. That goes against what surrealism is. But I'm really enjoying this so far. This is pretty cool. So this colorful hallway branches out into a beautiful stream that... By the way, check this out. I thought that was the water moving. It's the entire road. Or I guess walkway. And then it just folds up into the map. That is really interesting. Now, oddly enough, it does not move you. But can we go into this door? We cannot. All right, I need to know what's in this house. So we're just gonna no clip. There is nothing, at least I know for sure. And also over here, a bunch of rubble and debris. I, I don't understand the point of that. But now we're gonna go back into the colorful tunnel and let's see what's down this hallway. And here we are into, uh, I was going to assume a playground, but all we have is this little merry-go-round thing that doesn't work all that well. And also over here we have some sunflowers growing, but unfortunately no sun. Although I assume that's what this hole is for. Alright, once again we can branch off. Guys, this is the best part about these abstract maps. So to the creator I want to say, dude, you have absolutely killed it with the design. Because one of my favorite parts of these maps is you never know which way to go. It all just kind of branches off into different rooms and then you get lost. Like here we have a miniature city. I do remember one of the maps having something like this and it was kind of trippy. It was like a DJ or like dance room or something. I'll definitely link those in the top right corner if you guys want to check out more abstract maps. Uh, oh, wait, there is no stairs. All right, but now we can say for certain that we know where all this goes. It, it just wraps around. So thankfully that makes it simple for us. G-Man, what's up, my dude? Oh my God, what is wrong with his eyes? This man has seen too much. Oh, and now he's burning. <laughs> okay. G-Man, I'll always remember you. All right, we do not want to go back to our charcoal player model. It's not that time yet. Again, kind of random. I can't uh, ascertain what this all means. So we're just going to move on. All right, and up we go into this very overgrown hallway. But take a look at this. We are back at this area. So we know where that goes. We don't know where that goes yet, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Let's go up here for now. And oh, look at this. We have a lovely snowy map with a cottage that looks like it's straight out of the mother series that also cannot be opened man i i gotta say the thing i'm most disappointed in is not being able to enter some of these cool buildings also this looks a little weird the fact that you can see that but now we know for sure that there is nothing along that pathway we shall now go forth towards this very combine looking room and of course it's got a pit with a strange ominous graded ceiling and a very abstract painting on top. We're gonna completely ignore that though and go forward. Oh, so I thought there wasn't gonna be anything weird on this map. Well, okay. <laughs> I should probably describe what I mean by weird because obviously the whole thing is weird. Um, 
I guess I mean like creepy things. Now thankfully there's nothing actually back here. It's just another bait. All right, and over here we have a, uh, oh. It looks like just a random office. So this is definitely giving me back rooms vibes. Um, oh, I thought that was a camera that was gonna creep me out for a second. And this goes into a very <laughs> weirdly carved out cave. Tasty Toms, now even tastier. But we have a generator here that does not turn on, but it's obviously what's activating all these lights. See guys, it's all weird, but it also makes sense. Would you not believe that there was someone living in here at some point? Now, why would they be living in a random cave inside of a building that is also part of another structure? I couldn't tell you, but for now, we're gonna jump into this hole and see where it goes. And it goes nowhere. <laughs> okay, so it really is just a pit of death. All right, so I think we've seen everything from this area. Let's go back, and now it's time to check out this pathway oh ho, ho. so i love the whole swirly hallway thing it's tried and true it always works what in the world we have gnomes attacking this poor wait that's not a citizen that my friends is none other than cheapol if you guys want to see a video on cheapol i'll put it in the top right corner but it's kind of a heartbreaking story to be honest. Anyway, Cheeple's just hanging out with this very odd contraption. Uh, what the? All right, I really love that. So the thing I've always said about these abstract maps is they need to be more interactive. And this is cool. We have a slippery uh, spell here that whips you right into shape. And then check this out. A very foreboding looking star peeking through. Don't know what this all means but it's definitely kind of creepy. All right, so we're just gonna slip on through to the hallway. All right, and then towards here, we have some giant green orbs that are shooting out electricity. Now, what does this electricity do? What's the meaning behind it all? Oh. All right, and then we go into what seems to be a train station. We can see our arrivals and departures here, and then we, I guess this is where we get our tickets, indeed. And then here's our train waiting for us. Fun fact, I've never been on a train. The only time I've ever been on a train was when I had to go through the tram system on an airport to go to California. That's the only time I've ever touched a train. Yes, I'm an isolated Midwestern dude. Now, unfortunately, the train doesn't seem to go anywhere, but we don't need to worry about that because we can go where it needs to. Going down here, we can see we are now in the sewers. Is that a missing texture? Indeed it is. So there's quite a few of them all over the place. Uh, going backwards, we are now in a sandy area. Uh, Oh my god, this is trippy, but this is so interesting. Now thankfully nothing is really trying to kill us, that's honestly a surprise. Now sadly it does not lead anywhere, and you can fall off, but I imagine that's not a good idea. So that's a dead end, we can go back the other way. Oh, that is so colorful. If you guys have an OLED display on your phone, just look at this. It's mesmerizing, but we're going to not look at it for safety reasons. Here we have a very beautiful glittering wall. And it's hidden behind all this nasty rock. But we do got this cool horse statue. God damn it, I've seen this in like every single abstract map. We also have some more textures like stained glass that don't make any sense whatsoever. And now we're going, oh, the tree. Of course we're on the tree. If you guys remember any of Nipper's maps, or honestly anything with the J2 map pack, always had something to do with a tree. I couldn't tell you what that meant. Oh, we are in the gates of hell, and we have a heart in the middle. I do remember a heart being on one of these maps. Now, thankfully the lava does not hurt you. Uh, hitting it does nothing. In fact, there's nothing in this room. This kind of reminds me of the heart in Liberty City. If you guys have ever played Grand Theft Auto 4, when you go into the Statue of Liberty, you can actually find the heart of the Statue of Liberty and it's beating. It's such a creepy Easter egg. All right, taking this ladder up, we can go to the upper part of the sewers. I feel like this is symbolic with the idea of we have the higher ups and then they look down at the nasty sewage below while they live with these lovely, glorious, very soft stone benches. Anyway, we're going to go back now. If you guys did notice at the back of the train, we also have another pathway and this is going to take us kind of like a very snaky path that wraps around. Oh, that is really cool. So now we're outside and we're going into this beautiful looking house with a random like dance floor tile that I have no, oh, they're all over the place. Okay, reality is breaking at the seams. 
Sandra's barbecue. Oh man, that's not looking too good. All right, despite there being a very odd giant tree in the middle, as well as having the table on the, the wall, we also have another tree. Now, uh, we have a dilemma. I think that's it in this whole area, so we're gonna have to go all the way back to the initial room. And now, my friends, we have one more pathway to take. I might have missed a room or two, but I think you guys get the gist of it. What is this? All right, well then, I guess we're moving on. That was bizarre. Uh, here we have, uh, oh, it looks like we're in some kind of office. And then this goes into a hallway with a very, okay, very liminal space looking area. I love the neon though. There's so many pathways I want to take. Like, where does this go? I imagine this is going to not lead anywhere good. Oh, look at that, it's us. Oh, what did they do? But then we also have more of us inside a room with rotating spinning saws. Okay, we're just gonna leave that where it is. All right, and here we have a park. I don't speak German. Okay, we're going to just pretend that this looks so familiar, man, this font. Fun, fun, fun. This doesn't look very fun, someone's bleeding over here. But anyway, the fun room leads to Okay, I guess you could call this fun. Wait, can we get in this? Huh. And no, we cannot, but we can go over here with these lovely raining petals. And then a bunch of random stuff that I don't understand, but we can, wait, why does it make that sound? Anyway, going forth, we can go into a, oh, the meat room. Tried and true, classic. I ran out of ideas. <laughs> hey man, to be fair, you honestly had a lot more rooms than I thought you would. This was supposed to be a mini mod showcase, but I'm not even gonna pretend that it is. I guess mini mod showcases just don't exist anymore on this channel. But oh, I love this. We have like a nighttime parking lot with roads that also act as walkways that don't lead anywhere. In fact, it even says to stop. It's time to stop. In fact, they really mean that because we can't even go beyond that sign. And then this leads into another room. Oh no. The man just couldn't take it. All right, this got dark real quick. So guys don't drink, it's bad. But here we have a warehouse, fork, forklift certified of course. Uh, this goes up to the upper walkway that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. All right, so that's crazy to think that all that was from that vent. I'm definitely glad I didn't miss it. Going back through this way, which is where we were gonna go the entire time. Oh, this is very claustrophobic. But we got some spooky, scary skeletons on the other side. Oh man, I miss Halloween, but I also don't want Halloween to come back because I miss summer. Whoa, we have just stepped into the world of Terraria or something. Some 2D trees as well as a beautiful 2D fox sleeping. And unfortunately you cannot kill it. And then this goes into this very geometric room that has random stakes that don't seem to do anything that then goes into a Team Fortress inspired room. That also, okay, we have just glitched out of the matrix. And now we are in full blown voxel space. That also doesn't really lead anywhere. And that is going to be it guys. Hopefully that wasn't too bad of a video. I, I know some of these videos can be kind of annoying or obnoxious, just some dude walking through stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot of rooms to look at, way more than I thought. I can't even believe we went through them all already. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is a cool map? Do you miss the abstract maps? And what is your favorite map? As always, you can leave a like, subscribe. If you really want to leave a like, you can do a super thanks down below as well. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, farewell.